morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, I feel really tall today, so this is, I feel like I need to be like down here. Okay, good, because I feel weird. Um, but happy Friday. I was doing, so I tell you guys all the time, we have a stand-up meeting every single morning. And at the end of the meetings, I don't know if I've told you this before, but when we first started doing it, when we all started working from home, because usually we were in the same room, um, but when we all started working from home, like at the end of the meeting, it was always awkward and nobody like knew what to do and is everybody done? And then we would just like sit on the meeting all weird. And so I finally started to be like, you know, happy Monday, everyone. And then everyone would leave. So this morning I got on and I was like, the meeting's over and I was like, happy I don't know what to do. Friday? <laughs> like, it took me by such surprise. Like, I, because I knew I had a live this morning. So then I was like, Friday really is the only option because it's not Monday. <laughs> and Wednesday, anyways. And I was like, oh, it's Friday. And I, like, was so surprised. It was pretty funny. Everyone was laughing. Were you, like, at me. excited? I was. Like, it's Friday. <laughs> I really was. I'm not going to lie. So happy <laughs> Friday, everyone. Thanks for joining. We have a super busy day today on the live. We are going to make three DIYs and then give some customers a chance to win the ingredients that you need to make these DIYs. So let's get started. Started. Woo, I'm feeling it this morning, you guys. We are going to be answering questions. This whole live show, how do you get through a day? To me, it smells like a very like light kind of pine scent. So if you've been wanting to get one of these drop shop items, we are just going to have lots of fun. Who is ready for some life hacks? We have all of this fun stuff to give away. It's colorful, cozy. Really, we just like to get to know our customers. Never look a horse in the cheese it. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> okay, so like I mentioned, we have three DIYs that we are going to be making today. Um, they are found on the blog post that is called Three Faultastic DIYs for Our All the Fall Essential Oil Blends. And while you're <sighs> on that screen. I really can't say that very fast. Well, it's not easy. So if you look at the two gals on the right, those are our designers. That's Natalie and yes, Faith. Yes, in the Faith orange. Natalie's in the orange and Faith is in the polka dots. And then Jamie, I've never seen Jamie uh, do any of the photo no, shoots. No, Jamie hasn't. But that gal in the middle is Jamie. Yeah, with the, with the looks like a rust color cardigan. That is our marketing manager. She is so fun, you guys. Yeah, so all of you who love like all the July stuff that we come up with, or Jamie actually just sent me the first draft of our 25 days of Christmas. Oh. So I haven't looked at it yet. She sent it to me last night, but a majority of what we decide to do as a marketing team either comes from Jamie or it all passes through Jamie before a decision's made. So that's Jamie, that's our marketing manager. And then this girl on the right in the cream, or on the left, I guess, in the cream sweater, um, I believe that is our photographer's sister. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's Ashley's sister. That Ashley makes sense. Ashley Wall's sister, yeah. Anyway, so that is part of our marketing team, which is pretty fun. Thanks for pointing that out, Danny. Yeah, I just think it's kind of fun, you know, like to see the- When we get to use some of our people and our customers get to see who they are and yeah. Well, a lot of our pictures are, are people that work here or- Yeah. Yeah, so it's yep. kind of fun. Yeah, 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 but Faith and Natalie, they're the ones that, you know, do it all. They design the labels, they design the stickers, and we have Lauren. Lauren also. Um, yeah, but Faith and Natalie, Natalie plus Lauren are the ones that do all <laughs> the graphics on social, on the website, and all the labels, all the stickers. They're really quite talented and amazing people. So pretty cool. Thanks, Danny. Okay, and let's see what customers are joining us this morning. We've seen what employees are joining us on, on um, image. Here. <laughs> what? Right there. <laughs> what you Danny mean this one? You. Um, oh, Instagram, are. since you couldn't see that, the um, the Fantastic DIY blog post, the first image is what we were talking about. There's four women there, and those were the people that we're talking about. So if you go back to that blog, then you'll be able to see, because you weren't seeing what we were looking at. That's right. Um, okay, um, one more person that's here joining us today is Millie Moo. I don't think you can see her. You can see her eyeball. You can see one of her eyeballs. Here, put your hand up in the air by your... By Lexus face. By Lexus. 
There's Millie. Millie, Millie, she Millie. She wanted to come join Mama today. She's still in her pajamas. She was a little shy when Danny was talking to her, so I told her she could hold Flora because that's what the one that she has at home. Yeah, that's Although not... the one she has at home has backwards ears, so it's extra special. <laughs> huh? We did. I saw yeah. a customer say that. Yeah. Backwards yeah. ears? Yeah. One of the ears is backwards. Yeah. We were in the store getting it from Millie and I was like, I'm pretty sure this ear is backwards, Rita. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> that makes it cool. Yeah. Extra special. Okay. So customers, most of you have told me and I've, I've missed it because they've scrolled up, but Deborah says good morning from Tennessee. We have Jean from West Virginia. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's a pleasant surprise. It is a pleasant surprise when it's Friday. Ashley from Pennsylvania, Leanna, beautiful day in upstate New York. Um, lots of customers excited for a chance to win some of the ingredients used today. We have Joycey, Tracy, who's joining from Washington <laughs> State. <laughs> Cecilia from Wisconsin today. Um, Camel Tiger says love DIYs. We have Celeste from Oregon, Amanda from Indiana, um, Maggie from Western Massachusetts. Love living in New England, Maggie says. Um, Tracy from Massachusetts, and I'm going to find one more. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. What about Aaron Blanton from Delaware? Perfect, that's the perfect last one. Yes, 25 days of Christmas. I know that's coming before we know it. Um, okay, Alexa, who's joining us on Instagram this morning? Um, let's see, yeah, the Instagram camera is a lot closer to me now, so I can actually reach it without having to like sit <laughs> 10 feet forward. And wear a floaty. <laughs> yeah, this, this chair, definitely an upgrade. <laughs> um, Ash Indy said, hi from Ontario, Canada. Um, X artsy cat said hi from Georgia. I I'm having a morning, guys. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce any of these. Um, Miss Droptini, Droptini. Yeah. Oh yeah, Miss Droptini. Um, hi from Michigan. Miss Melissa Miggs. Good morning from hot and sunny Florida. Good morning. Blessed and tea. Hi from California. I have his face every time she's like. Because <laughs> I know that I'm saying them all wrong and I'm like, wait. Um, boys145, good morning from California. I could find more if I scroll up, but I, then I think stopped. that's great. Thank that's you for joining long. everyone. <laughs> Actually, that's like, was I like, I could if I really much. wanted to. Just kidding. Like. Um, thank you for joining and that's all. Okay, so now I don't know what I was going to say after that. You honestly. were going to say thank you for joining and right now I'm going to give away a watermelon kisses. Okay, let's do that. Um, oh. I did, let's see, I saw something about Melissa. Hey y'all, it's my birthday. Let's send Melissa a watermelon kisses for her birthday. Sweetness. Because Melissa, if you don't have it yet, you need it in your life. It will bring you a lot of joy. <laughs> So email cs at planttherapy.com. Yesterday, Alexa. So Alexa works with me at my house on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then she works here with Danny on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And um, because we don't have lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And so yesterday, she was at my house working with me, and she said that she, what, your latte machine or something? I don't know. I only half oh, pay attention to her. Espresso. Oh, just kidding. I was I very it. excited about it. She was very excited that she learned how to make an espresso. And I think she said something like, I don't know. It's I like espresso life how it, or it, it's something all, like that. Say that. Well, I'm sure I said it brought me joy because that sounds like something my mother would say. Okay. I mean, she said something about maybe it bringing her joy. I thought it was more like profound than that, but whatever. <laughs> and then I pick up the watermelon kisses lip balm and I was like, she said, you need espresso, I need watermelon this kisses. This is what I need. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I love watermelon kisses. If you guys don't know that already, you should watch more lives <laughs> I, <laughs> because I talk about it a lot. That's something I love about you, Rita, is you <laughs> turn everything I say into something way more profound. <laughs> <laughs> I turn what anybody says into watermelon kisses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he meant to say. See, there I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we are going to make these three fantastic DIYs that are on this blog post. Um, 
And it's just giving you more ways to use some of our fall blends um, because we have six of them and a lot of you are familiar with these because these are all fall blends from last year. And when we had talked to our customers kind of what did you want to see for fall, you know, this would have been months and months, probably at the beginning of the year or something, a lot of customers were like, oh, please bring back this and please bring back this and please bring back this. So we were like, let's bring back our six most popular selling fall blends um, from even years past where we haven't brought them back for the last few years. Um, but they were originally some of our most popular. So that's why we brought back these six blends. And so we want to give you lots of new ways that you can use them. So the first one, we got this question on Wednesday probably, because that was the first day we talked about the fall blends, I think. Yeah. We got this question on Wednesday and somebody asked what blend helps with respiratory support. And we named a few, but this um, DIY specifically is a vapor rub. It's a refreshingly fall vapor rub. Um, and we are going to be using Harvest Moon or Fall Rain. You can use either one. I'm going to be using, well, what should I be using today? Fall Rain, Allie, speak it up. I mean, she was very quiet when she actually said it. smelled. No, I smelled them all yesterday with my mom. That's a lie. Okay, she's just over there lying. Who knows what's happening? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use fall rain. So what you're, what you need is you need a double boiler. I turned it on right at the beginning of the live. Um, you need this. Uh, so this is a, a chocolate melter, by the way. Um, but you can just use like a double boiler with like a you know, anything at your house that you have. Um, oftentimes we just use a pan and then we'll put like a glass jar in it or something. Um, so there's lots of options if you don't have a double broiler, if you don't have something like this, there's lots of different options. But you need something to melt because you are going to melt some beeswax pearls. So we need a quarter cup, I don't know, I'll melt this first, of, um, no, I'm just lying. Start over. Blue. Danny, can you like cut that out, please? Yeah. Okay, it's thank you. <laughs> um, you need three tablespoons of beeswax pearls. Ooh, that's so cool. Do I have a, no. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm it's okay. The camera to get like as soon pearls. as I put it in, it was like zoom, because it was like instantly starting to melt. And zoom is a word, I'm confident. I will say that this chocolate melter. Is amazing. If you are going to, I, I hate Oop. using a double boiler. And this chocolate melter is easier to clean. Yeah. Unless you throw it all over the floor, Retha. I know. My bad. Um, <laughs> and it's just really easy to melt. <laughs> yeah, is it melting pretty fast? It melts it great, yeah. So I probably should have put the, these in here before. We were making candles the other day. I was like... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Because we, we did, like, everything else first. So we were just sitting there for, like, 10 minutes just waiting for it okay, to so melt. Okay, so maybe while that's melting. Right? While this is, yeah, while this is melting, I'm going to start another DIY. So this is what's awesome. We're doing three DIYs, and I'm going to basically do them all at the same time. Um, so another DIY, and the one that I personally think I'm most excited for, is the Passive Diffuser Pine Cones. So this one, not only does it use my favorite fall blend, which is Fireside Flannel. Mm. Shout out. Um, but it's also like there's something, um, what, like reminiscing or something, I don't know what the word is, lovely about pine cones next to your fireplace that smell lovely, right? Oh, yeah. Like we all think of that, especially come the holiday times with the cinnamon pine cones that you smell as soon as you walk into a store. But these ones are going to smell like fireside flannel, and I'm super excited about that. So what you need is you need um, pine cones, a large zip top bag. I have no idea, but it says that's what, oh, to put the pine cones in probably. Um, usually I just spray them and they're fine. You need fireside flannel or another option that it gives is autumn breeze. Really, you could use any of them. I'm going to use the fireside flannel and then take these home. Actually, we probably should use them as decor here. That's probably what we should do. Yeah, especially it kind of stinks in here because it of does, my because of the stain stain I'm yeah sorry. you can smell the stain it's okay i'll forgive can you, you. Smell the stain? yeah yeah well lexa can't am i just immune to it because yeah. i'm the one who stained all of it yeah probably, probably. Oh, you've great. been i've accidentally <laughs> ruined your nose i'm um, sorry danny probably should get a raise <laughs> yeah. you are also going to need everclear and water so i'm doing a half an ounce of everclear can you use Fireside flannel on these and put it around your kids, even though fireside flannel is not kid safe. Do you need a funnel for that? You know. Nope. Yes. <laughs> so, so. I don't. 
It was perfect. That was awful. A funnel would <laughs> be great. Perfectly awful. Okay, and then you need two ounces of water. I think it's an ounce and a half. Oh, an ounce and a half of water. I feel like this must not be a two ounce bottle. No, it's a four That's ounce. That's a four ounce. <laughs> Oh, look, at, that one was... Oh, my gosh, so Rita. <laughs> hey, at least I did it over the bowl. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to need 20 drops of fireside flannel, which is this one right here. Fireside I'll... flannel doesn't have vanilla in it, right? I don't need to shake it. No, if it doesn't say shake, shake, well. shake. Okay, so shake, 20 drops. And our beeswax is melting still. 20 drops. Twenty-one. That's okay. I really like fireside flannel. <laughs> okay, and then it says optional is small bamboo skewers and hot glue gun. And I we do not have that. I have <laughs> no idea what that is even for. It's to make it so you couldn't stick it in like floral arrangements. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, so you're combining your essential oils and the Everclear, which I didn't do. I combined it all at the same time, but we're still going to shake it well and mix it up so that it dilutes the essential oils. Um, and then it says you're going to liberally spray your pine cones and place in a zip tote bag. Is Ziploc like a trademark and we're not allowed to say it? Well, maybe probably in a zip tote bag for one to two days and then you're going to display the scented pine cones in a decorative bowl so honestly i would just put my pine cones in whatever bowl i'm going to do i would just spray them and keep them there but you know if you want to be more professional then store them in a bag for a few days so mm. and then you could probably spritz those Throughout. Oh, yeah, anytime it starts to, the yeah, scent starts to go away. Yeah. yeah. Says I need some of that for my underwear oh. drawer. Danny. What? Danny. Goodness. Isn't that I what think... the washer and dryer's for? <laughs> 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 that was fantastic. Just going to make sure fantastic. I go. Fantastic. These, it said really good, you guys, so that's what I'm doing. Fireside flannel. Spray some of that over here. You could probably spray it all over the set. You know, it's kind of like a big pine cone. <laughs> My beeswax is still melting, you guys. Is it still not melted? No. Oh, well, how good does it smell in here right now? It smells good. I like Do it. I need to spray it closer to yeah, you guys? Like... <laughs> Oswald's Their insane. eyes. Have some room spray over there. Okay, we're putting the pine cones in the bag and we're going to let them sit. Actually, I just got your nails. Just spray a little bit more in there. <laughs> You're like the... I want those pine cones to smell good when I take them out. just opens the bottle and dumps the whole thing in. Hey, that's not a bad idea. She Actually. reminds me of the people that cook with uh, cooking wine and then take a swig in between. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tip me. We did have some ever <laughs> Swig. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really bad. Okay, so my beeswax is... It's I not don't know. beeswax. It's close. Yeah. It's, it's like we only have a little bit left. Um, what questions do our customers have? Let me call up to comments. Oh my goodness, you guys, my nose is itchy. Um, um, Matilda. I remember thinking in my head that I was going to ask you this, but I don't remember if I asked it out loud, so I might ask it again. Okay. But can you put fireside flannel on these and put it around kids, even though it's not kids safe? Oh, you did ask it, and I think I oh, ignored okay. you. I apologize. Um, absolutely. Yeah, there is passive diffusion. I'm not concerned to put putting any oil even if it's like a because there's um like i think it's pumpkin pie that has like the cinnamon and all that kind of stuff in it and i wouldn't diffuse that around kids but passive diffusion i would feel completely comfortable doing it around children um the problem with actually diffusing it is those oils are actually getting dispersed into the air and there have been cases where um it can harm like if it's if you put too much in an oil or if you are using a, a diffuser that doesn't use water and it's just spraying it and a child like face like goes right up next to it and it sprays right into the face it can be irritating like those are the reasons i want to actually diffuse it but passive diffusion the the essential oils aren't actually being dispersed in the air it's just the aroma that you're getting um, and so i think any of these are completely safe to use 
on some type of passive diffusion around children. As long as your child's not super young and gonna go pick up the pine cones and eat it or something, but you wouldn't wanna but do any essential pine oils. Cones, yeah. Then you have other problems. <laughs> <laughs> not if you're a child. Okay, I am, I'm, I've moved back to this, the um, vapor rub, the chest rub, and I'm now adding my quarter cup of almond oil, which is gonna partly solidify the melted beeswax and you just have to melt it back down. It's normal for, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably yeah, not. You can't. It gets chunky. Yeah, it gets like. Looks like. I don't know, not something milk, great. Like. So that's melting down again. So I'm gonna go back to questions and see, how do you get Everclear? Um, some states don't even sell Everclear, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's banned in a lot of US states. Like you can't get it. Yeah, you just need high proof alcohol just the higher the proof, the better for you. Um, and w remind us why why they do alcohol in the sprays. Um, because alcohol is a natural emulsifier, so you can also buy an emulsifier and just add it. But essential oils mix with alcohol, and they don't with essential with a water. And so um, that's why you that's why you use Everclear, and it also like evaporates quickly because it's alcohol. So it's really good for like room sprays or linen sprays instead of like leaving the air wet or your linen sprays wet. You know, it evaporates quicker, so it's also beneficial for that. Um, how high proof alcohol do you need? Um, what did we say Everclear was, like 190 or something? I read it in there and it was like 75% by volume. I think that's why. higher is what we recommend. Okay. I don't know off the top of my head, so I'm glad you guys. And I think it's 150 proof and higher. Okay. So would vodka work? Probably not. I, uh, I think Everclear. I don't know. Right, but just like, um, as just try to get like the highest that you can, yeah. I feel like. Or yeah. buy an emulsifier. So you're saying which beer you can won't get like work? on Amazon or something. Beer would most definitely beer won't work. work. <laughs> what Don't about put your beer in it. non-alcoholic uh, beer? Like yeah, beer that's beer. definitely gonna work. <laughs> um, I would be comfortable with passive diffusion as long as it is um, up and away where the dog can't get it and where the dog can leave the room. So we get questions about cats as well, and you don't want to put it in a room where a cat is stuck, right? Because even that scent can still fill that room. But because it's not going into the air, um, as long as the cat can leave or the animal can leave that room, and they're not like going to get to it and hit it and get it on their you know, paws and face and stuff, um, then it's usually fine. Okay, so I am melted down again. Um, I see some people asking um what i am making and i'm making a lot so i'm making three different fall diys that are found on our our fantastic blog post that was that we wrote or we posted on the fourth um so these are scented pine cones and we put fireside flannel on them um, the recipes on the blog post we're sticking them in here if you let them sit for a few days it soaks it up I don't do that when I do it at home. I just spray it and then respray it like every two to three days is usually how often I respray it. Um, and then right here, I am melting down some beeswax and some almond oil. I'm gonna keep this on because we have something else to make. Um, but I am making like a, a chest rub, a vapor rub using fall rain. You can use harvest moon or fall rain, but we're gonna use fall rain today. Um, so once everything is melted, you wanna take it off of the heat and pour it into a jar. Is this the jar I'm supposed to pour it into? Well, that's not gonna work. It's too big. Cause it, I mean, I guess, will my fingers fit down there? Here, we've got lots of jars. Okay, yeah, let's get something smaller. Or I can just put it in one of these too. But you just want it, you want it in a, do you have like a tin or something? Because I need to be able to get my hands in it, you know, because it's a rub and then you rub your chest, right? So um, I'm going to add the essential oil. So you need 50 drops and we're going to do fall rain. And you need 50 drops of the essential oil. I'm just going to take it off the heat like that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Those are perfect. Thirty five, thirty six, I don't know, eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two. Yeah. Yeah. And fifty, give or take ten. I have no idea really what I put in there. 
Mill Suzanne. Thanks, pretty girl. That way we can all have some. Here's two more. So we have little small ones that we're going to put it in. Um, I think this will work much better. And then we're just going to open these up, dump the little, the, um, our mix in, and then once it's dry, you can use it. Can you use this to wax your back? Sure. You can do whatever you want, Annie. Okay, thank you. There's one. It sure is pretty. Two. remember what size these are these might be a one ounce thing so three and I might not get the other one all the way full but that one's for Caitlin okay <laughs> <laughs> and then if I were you and at home I would probably clean this out first but we're not at home and next we're gonna make sugar and spice wax melts I keep saying max well <laughs> wax melts and you could use either maple leaf or pumpkin pie or really whatever you want but that's what we're going to use here today I'm not gonna put the lids on quite yet because it's still pretty warm um, so again in a double broiler you are going to melt beeswax and um, virgin solid coconut oil because um, you want these to be hard, so you want to use a hard coconut and not a fractionated coconut because that will change the texture of the finished product. Okay, so let's ask, answer, not ask, I don't need to ask questions. Let's answer some questions that we have. Um, okay, let's see. Why is it banned? It's just um, so someone, let's see who asked that. Laura asked, why is. Um, Everclear banned in some states. It's just because it's too high of an alcohol content and they don't want people probably drinking it, I would guess. It, so I, some I hadn't ever smelt it. it before, but it smells just like rubbing alcohol yeah, to it's, me. Yeah, it's um, pretty intense. Um, does vanilla tincture stain diffusers like vanilla oil? Yes, it would. It would be very similar to the other vanilla that we've sold in the past. Um, which is why you have to shake these babies because it doesn't mix with stuff like other vanillas. Like, yeah. It smells like ice cream. So um, let's see. High alcohol content is required for it to work. Um, for the essential oils to mix with the Everclear, yes. The higher, the more it emulsifies the essential oils. Um, but you can also use an emulsifier, so it's not necessarily required. So some people are asking where we got our melting pot. We this? just got this at Hobby Lobby. I yeah, believe. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon. It's just a chocolate. Just look for like a chocolate. Yeah, a chocolate melter. melter. Mm -hmm. It works really good for yeah. this kind of stuff. Um, I did see a question. Somebody asked, and I think this is a great idea. Can you burn the pine cones in your fireplace after you've put the oils on for? to help get that smell in, into the air. Yeah, that's, um, I probably want it because you just sprayed alcohol and essential oils on it. And both are very flammable. So I don't know what, like, I'm not gonna tell you to do that in your home. But that If you choose to, like, <laughs> yeah. tell us how it went, I wouldn't do it because essential oils and alcohol are both very flammable. And you, I mean, I just don't know how much of a flame it would cause. Probably not enough to do damage, but you never know, right? Like maybe outside in your fire pit to see what happens, like throw them and stand away, but I wouldn't do it in my home. We're gonna make uh, essential oil grenades later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we do have, um, as one of the DIYs we did either last year or the year before, these really great melts that were are used to start fires they're a fire starter yeah. type melt mm -hmm. so go check that out those ones work great yeah i, I bet it's those. i bet they're on the downloads page yeah they are um i'm getting someone asked what kind of pine cones store bought or from your yard i've actually done both i've collected pine cones before and used them i've done store bought ones you just want to make sure that the store bought ones aren't already scented um just because that scent usually lasts forever so you putting your own scent on it won't really work um 
And then I also saw somebody ask if the, it ever grows, grows mold or breaks down the pine cones. I personally have never had that happen. And I've used um, a pine cone like a whole, you know, winter season. So for a couple of months and sprayed it, you know, every time I thought about it, sometimes it'd be every two to three days. Sometimes it would be a week later. Just whenever I thought about it, I would spray them and I've never had that happen, but that's just my own experience. So I can't guarantee it won't grow mold, but I don't think so. I think it would dry up and everything too fast. The alcohol kind of helps take care of that a little bit. Depends on how wet you get them, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Alexa, do we have any questions on Instagram while I'm scrolling through these questions? Emily says, sugar and spice wax melts. Yes. <laughs> mm. um, I, I like the comment. I just had this thought, like, if you had the essential oil bomb or you know grenades you could toss those into my child's room <laughs> the like, stinkiest child <laughs> yeah this is such a great idea um leanna wants to know would melting wax be considered passive diffusing it would be yep anything that's not actually blowing the oil into the air is considered passive diffusion so can you soak the pine cones for to create a longer lasting scent yeah, probably. I wouldn't see why not. I bet it would last a little bit longer. Are any of these essential oils kid safe? Yes, four out of the six ones are kid safe. However, you could completely use any of them in passive diffusion um, around children. So you have fall rain. So the, I guess the only two, that lid's not on. That could have been bad. The only two that are not kid safe are pumpkin pie and maple leaf. No, pumpkin pie and fireside flannel. I knew that, right? <laughs> I say I knew it and then I don't know. Pumpkin pie and fi fireside flannel are the only ones that aren't kid safe. Where did we get the double broiler? Danny said we got it um, from like Hobby Lobby, but you can get them on Amazon. You can get them at, I mean, any, really a lot of places. Yeah, you, you can tell we've used this one. You can tell we've used this one a lot because it doesn't sit in the bottom like this, flat anymore this one's called what's it called cocoa choco choco maker. choco maker yeah but I, they're yeah just a chocolate melter will work great while we're waiting for this to melt and looking for more comments let's give let's give something away yeah, I was about to say Instagram keeps for oh instagram you don't come here just to look at this face <laughs> not cool just kidding <laughs> I don't blame you. That face um, just got angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's give something away. Danny, let's think of a question. How long do the mel wax melts last? No, that's a horrible question. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, you were talking, that was somebody's actual question. That was someone's actual question. Okay, what's a question we can ask? How um, about? Last time I asked what everyone's favorite season was. Let's ask uh, a question about Allie. Are you ready? Yes. Allie. What is Allie's favorite color? Don't tell us yet, Allie. What is Allie's favorite What is Allie's color? favorite color? No, I And then got I the have camera. another question I want to ask I just thought of. Okay. So I've we'll got it. Choose a couple winners. I've got the camera on her so you can see what she's wearing. See if you can guess what color just from what it, she's wearing. She's like <laughs> She's like, "What am I wearing today?" That's a really cute shirt, by the way. Oh, recently? Yeah, for $8. Okay, I'm going to go buy one. Right after this life, probably. Like Don't tell my boss. She does that. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we've got pinks, greens, blue, purple, purple. gray, green, blue, blue, purple, black, orange. Gray. What are we seeing on Instagram? Yellow, orange, green, purple, purple, pink, pink, green, turquoise, yellow, blue, purple, 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 okay. purple. I want to know what you... Hmm, I'm going yellow. Someone yellow? Said. Allie, Lauren has that same shirt. It's the best shirt. <laughs> it is, and I have a really cute skirt. I think it would look really cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're trading 
clothes ideas right. Right here on the live. <laughs> That's why I want it so much. I just imagine it with the skirt like in a knot, uh -huh. you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you guys ever comment on my clothes? Danny, your planting cotton this shirt is so cute. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, <laughs> what is it, Allie? Color. Um, my favorite color is mauve. <laughs> oh, Allie! <laughs> Sorry, what? Why you gotta go do that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. What the heck is mauve? It's like, like, like it's dusty. Like Burgundy-ish yeah. There's, I think the only time I've ever heard someone say mauve before is there's like a Hannah Montana episode where like the really like nasally girl that everyone is always talking about. Oh, she's so annoying. She's talking about and she's like a mauve. Oh, like, yeah. That's, oh. That's is it mauve like not rust but it's like kind of rust but a bit more purpley yeah kind of mm -hmm. that it's is super hilarious. kind of like dusty kind of because i like pink but not like <laughs> pink pink mauve but is it yeah, yeah is it closer exactly. to pink than like it's red exactly. yeah. oh okay i was thinking a bit more like, like in the reddish yeah it's like basically Why like purple just, just more purple? like dirty <laughs> dusty dirty <laughs> purple it's like, a dirty She's like purple. my favorite color is dirty purple <laughs> Ali, tell us a little bit more about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. It's like plum. That's yeah. what I would say. Yeah, that's but, what I would describe uh, that but color with a, a hint of dust. Yeah, I get why you're deep. saying that. Yeah, because plum's shinier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we better get something away because they just listened to you guys talk about mauve for like. Okay, they minutes. did. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then this is melted. So we're gonna we're going to give Danny's going to choose a winner, and so is Alexa. Woohoo! And then um, I'm going to put these. This is melted, so I'm going to add my essential oil. Um, I don't know how much, and I'm going to put them in here while they're choosing the winners. I'll tell you how much really fast. So this is the sugar and spice, and I'm putting 50 drops of maple leaf or pumpkin pie. Ooh. Pumpkin pie, oh, Caitlin yeah. says. Okay. Okay, so we're going to pick winners. You want to go first, Alexa? Sure. What are they winning? Are they doing a... I'm closing my eyes. Okay. Um, Sydney Holly. Sydney Holly. Allie, what do you want to give Sydney Holly? Ooh. Um, let's do I could be here a while. Fall rain. Ooh, Ooh. fall rain. All right. And I'm picking the winner. You guys better start commenting. Start. <laughs> That's 10 out of 50 drops. <laughs> yeah, it's Oof. a thick. It's thick. All right, and our winner is from YouTube. It's Y Lying. So W E I L I A N G. Y Lying. And if you won today, please. I'm halfway there. Please <laughs> email CS at plantherapy.com. It's going to be worth it, though. It will be worth it. The wax is going to be hard to back up by the time you're done. My wife keeps texting me, guys. Okay, I need someone else to count the drops for me. Who wants to? Two. 38, Three. <laughs> 39, 40. Okay, so 10 drops. Okay, so I have another question. While well, Caitlin, she just looked down, counts these drops for me. Um, what do you guys want to see during Plant Therapy's 25 Days of Christmas? Oh, that's a very Since good question. Since I'm going to be reviewing. That's 50, yeah. Since I'm going to be reviewing. Um, Jamie's first draft of our 25 days of Christmas, I can make some changes. Whoop. So let me know. What do you guys want to see? And by the way, when you do this wax, this, dump them in, you can just see like the vanilla just like separate from everything. It's cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to mix it good to make sure that vanilla is nice and mixed in there. And I'm going to dump it in here. So that's another giveaway question. What do you want to see for Plant Therapy's 25 days of Christmas? this year hmm. it, well, <laughs> and these are adorable little leaves how cute is that going to be little wax melts new from plant Stacey therapy said chai tea smelling essential oil i second that mm. Mm hmm so one of them has more vanilla than the rest because it's the only brown one, <laughs> but that's okay. While you guys are I telling mean, me what you want to see for the 25 days of Christmas idea. so that you can win some stuff, 
I'm going to put the lids on these and then I'm going to spray the pine cones a little bit more. They look a little too dry for my preference. They do. I'm going to smell this first actually. It smells so good. Mm. It smells really good in here now. Oh, at least up here. Okay, so what kind of things are you seeing on Instagram, Lex? I don't have Facebook and stuff open. Danny, do you want to tell me what you're seeing on there? Yeah. Someone said an advent calendar with oils. Ooh, okay, we that did that before. last year. Yeah, I liked that. We did. Uh, somebody said a hot cocoa EO. Yeah, mm. there are lots of people saying that. Or like a peppermint hot chocolate oil. Mmm, that does sound lovely. I'm going to go make myself some hot cocoa. Christmas no. scented cleaning. Oh, that's coming. I'll just tell you. That's coming. Something gingerbready, Michelle says. Okay. Stickers. <laughs> Jill said new products. <laughs> dill. Deal. Deal. <laughs> Did you say dill? There might be some dill ones. No. <laughs> Peppermint bar soap. Ooh, oh. lovely. Mm. A big stinker. I may have thrown that in. <laughs> Danny, I did see lots of go. people saying they oh want goodness. big stinkers, though. Or big whatever. New other aroma plushes. That's not the same thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the big stinker I'm talking about is amazing. We don't need to talk about it. Okay, we lot. won't talk about it. Grab bags, <laughs> stickers, an ugly body oil sweater. Did you hear That'd that? That'd be cool. I yeah, mean, if ugly. nothing else, I should have one made for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Hot chocolate body cream. Mm. Some soap. You guys talking like bar soap or like liquid, like hand soap? Hand soap concentrate. Okay. Oh, that should be cool. Diffuser ornaments. Lots More body are grab bags. What are grab bags? I mean, it's where we throw like random products. I mean, they're not random to. Us. us like we strategically yeah. place them but customers don't know what they're buying they're just buying the like the grab bag and then it's a surprise of what mm. we put in there yeah and it's usually a pretty good deal oh yeah it's of. great they always do really well some linen sprays christmas linen sprays <laughs> santa <laughs> plushy oh cute i did see someone asking for an aroma plush the holiday thing one and they're like just do anything but a snowman and i was like but he'd be so cute <laughs> <laughs> Like his three squishy parts would be so cute. <laughs> but okay, maybe not a snowman. Okay, so let's choose two more winners. Danny, do you want to scroll through all of them and choose a winner on Facebook and or YouTube? And Alexa, you can do Instagram again. Yes. Okay, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Magdalena Fretlor on Facebook. Magdalena Fretlor. Awesome. And Magdalena, what should we give Magdalena? Uh, I think we should give her Fireside Flannel. Oh, that's a good idea. It's my favorite. Okay, Lexa, Instagram winner. Um, Miss Pris Texas said a PT app. Oh, oh, we were just talking you. about Ms. that yesterday. Miss Texas, I know. I'm telling Alexa she needs to make a plant therapy app because she wants to make an app. We were in a meeting yesterday and Aretha was like, why don't we have one? I know. Our customers, you guys hard. have been asking for so long, but they are so hard and so expensive. Yeah. Um, but we know you want one and I promise you it is talked about very often. We just need to like, I don't know, just do it already. Um, yes, I want a PT app. Okay, congratulations to all of the winners. Um, I have one more winner. Oh, one more winner. Yes, it's weird. Sherry Rotter Santarelli. Sherry Rotter Santarelli, congratulations. All of our winners email cs at planttherapy.com, confirm your mailing address, and we will send you um, whatever planner? prize we said you're going to win. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Um, and then don't forget to check out the blog post for these three fantastic DIYs. Um, there's so many ways. You also should check out planttherapy.com forward slash downloads. That's our downloads page because it has so many fall recipes from last year and the year before. Um, we even have a fall. Let me just show you guys actually. Um, you guys can't see it, but on Instagram, but we have a fall recipe book. 
Um, I don't know what just happened. Oh. Oh, do the recipe books again. There they are. Okay, right here, this fall blends recipe book, um, which is pretty fun, has lots of different DIYs, and it's fall blends from long, long time ago, but you can still replace some of them that we don't have this year and just use, you know, what you have. So let, let me give you some examples. So there's a bathroom cleaner, a potpourri, um, a teacup candle, which is adorable, um, scented hot pads. That's really easy. You just get like a heating pad, put your essential oils on it, and when you put the um, like, like pan hot. on it and it warms that oil up, then it makes it smell really good. There's just lots of really fun DIYs. So go and check out the downloads page because it really is full of a ton of a fall DIYs for you guys to, you know, start thinking about as, as you know, how you want to use your new fall oils. Um, so check them out and then check out the blog post because we have these three fantastic DIYs for you that we made today. Okay. So that is the end of the video. If you have any questions about what I did today, check out the blog post. There might be answers in there or email cs at planttherapy.com and they'll be happy to answer your questions. And then we have our end of video giveaway. So Facebook and YouTube to enter this video, even if you're watching after the live, you have until midnight tonight to enter and you must enter via the giveaway link. The link can be found in the comment section of the live video as well as in the live description. And Instagram, you also have until midnight tonight to enter the giveaway and your link will be found in the plant therapy stories. There will be one that says giveaway. It will have you swipe up and it will take you to enter the giveaway. So go and enter the giveaway before midnight tonight. Your giveaway question is which DIY did you like most? And whatever DIY you said you like most, we are going to send you the ingredients that plant therapy sells. Yes. <laughs> to you and that will be your your prize um, so we won't be sending so like, you ever clear right like beeswax we won't be sending you water either but beeswax <laughs> or the essential oil so let us know which diy was your favorite and we will send you those um on the let's do this because on the um the blog it gives two oils so let's send them both oils and they can use whatever one they want for that diy so then the minimum they get are at least two oils. Okay, so make sure you go and enter that. You have until midnight tonight to enter. So share that, go enter it. So you have lots of fun new ways to use your fall blends. Um, and I think that's all. Thanks for making or watching me make these um, DIYs today. We will be back on Monday at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time, uh, and we may or may not be talking about a new product launch. So come and join us Monday, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Have a wonderful weekend because it's Friday, and we'll see you Monday morning. Bye, everyone.